Question 15 deals with decision trees. It's important we can break it down into its individual parts. So let's take a look at the tree and see how many people are in this tree. We can see there were 628 people and the tree also had three splits. You can see that most of the people are more conservative as noted by the green. We have some that are more liberal and some that are a mix between the two. The first question these people were asked would be, do you go to church at least once a month? These were the people who answered yes, and these were the people who answered no. And we see when the answer is yes, we see more conservative go up, and we see a split right here for the answer of no. It's not like this group is very clear, but the people who go to church at least once a month, the majority of them are more conservative. We still have some more liberal, and we still have a mix right here. This breaks it up into 317 and 311 people. Next, we ask the people who go to church at least once a month if they smoke. And so here are the individuals who are smokers. And all of a sudden, we have a lot more liberals in this group. So these are liberals who go to church at least once a month and also are smokers. Now, there are people who are conservative here, and there are people who are a mix. And these are only 16 people, so it might be 2 people, 3 people, and 11 people. It looks about right because these are only 16 people right here. We can go over to this group right here, and we still have some liberals and some conservatives and some in-betweens. But this is majority conservative right here, and these are 301 people. So this is maybe somewhere around 190 conservatives right here, just kind of taking a guess. But it's majority conservative in this group, definitely over 50% it looks like. Going over to the people who do not go to church once a month, they were asked a different question. They were asked how many Facebook friends they have. And the people who reported having more than or equal to 334 are also still kind of a mix. We have a mix right here between liberal, conservative, and moderate between right there. But we have the people who have less than 334 Facebook friends. We see that these people are more moderate. This is the group that really takes over here. So at the end right here, we have four terminal leaves. We have terminal leaf one, terminal leaf two, terminal leaf three, and terminal leaf four. And this actually goes up to the graphic up here with terminal leaf one, two, three, and four. It's actually the same visualization. You'll see that leaf three is our biggest and leaf four is our smallest. And when we go down to here, you'll see leaf three is the biggest and leaf four is the smallest for how many people are in them. So the graphics are identical. Next, we have the output showing the leaf reports. So let's take a look at what we have going on right here. This information shows us the exact numbers. And you'll notice I was a little bit off. It was actually three, four, and nine in that last leaf. And what I would do when I get to this page is I would number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that way you can have the actual leaves numbered by what they were on the previous page. It doesn't hurt to number the previous page either and put one, two, three, four below it. So with this in mind, we can keep track of who is in what group and the percentages, and we can actually see the counts. I said about 190, and I was close right there. It's actually 182 conservatives in the third leaf. So as mentioned previously, make sure to number this. Make sure to number leaf one, two, three, and four. And up here, you could even number leaf one, two, three, and four. And this will help us keep everything straight when we answer the questions below. So how many more liberal students reported going to church at least once a month? What we're looking at right here is actually the sum of these individuals, because we want to know this group right here, the more liberal students who reported going to church at least once a month. So this block right here, and that would be the addition of this one plus this one, leaves three and four add into this one right here. So let's go ahead and look at our leaf output and see what is going on. Remember, we are looking at terminal leaves three and four, and we can see that there are 20 liberals in leaf three, and there are nine liberals in leaf number four. And you can even tell these are the people who go to church at least once a month, so 20 plus nine is equal to 29. There were 29 liberals who go to church at least once a month. This next question right here asks about the 84 students who are actually in leaf two. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and figure out how many liberals, conservatives, and moderate students there are, which is a mix of liberal and conservative viewpoints. Remember, we are looking at leaf two right here, and we want to see the actual count. And we can see this in the leaf report. We have 33 students who reported more liberal, six who reported more conservative, 
and 45 who reported a mix of liberal and conservative. And these are all individuals who reported going to a church at least once a month no and having less than 334 Facebook friends. The next question wants us to figure out who would be the most likely to be more conservative, and we can do this by looking at our initial report. The more conservative individuals are the green, and we simply need to go down and find the category with the most amount of green individuals. And if you'll notice, this is our third leaf right here. These individuals go to church at least once a month, and they are non-smokers. And we could also say that this right here, but we're gonna go down to the bottom leaf where we've made all the decisions. And so once again, going through, individuals who go to church at least once a month and are non-smokers. We wouldn't mix up the questions. You must follow through an order. You can't ask about Facebook friends if you take this path. So once you take a path, you follow down until you get to the end, and right here is where most of our conservatives are, and these would be the individuals who are most likely to be a conservative. So the answer would be go to church at least once a month and don't smoke. Finally, if we were to do one more split, what would be the most likely value of the resulting R squared? And an important thing to know is that a decision tree will always increase the R squared. So if we make a split, it's that it explains more variation. R squared is going to increase. R squared is the percent of variation in Y explained by the tree. So we have our interpretation for R squared right now that blank percent of the variation in Y is explained by our decision tree. At this point, 9.9% .9 of the variation in political beliefs is explained by the decision tree. And that's our good interpretation of R squared for this decision tree, and make sure to know that. But what would happen? We would see that R squared would go up. But looking at our split history, you can see that R squared is not going up by much lately. On our first split, it may have been something like 6%, then 8%. Then 9.9%. The split history shows that we are not seeing big increases of R squared. So if we were to split again, I don't think that we would see a big increase in R squared. So the answer has to be C. Because it can't go back down, R squared must go up as we add in more X variables. And D, E, and F are too big of a jump. We haven't seen R squared increasing much, so it wouldn't go to 49.5, 50.5, or 99.1% of the variation explained if we did another split. 